I'm gonna turn down the music a smidgen to about here. Today is uh, it's Tuesday. I was gonna record all of them today. It's a an ongoing thing, right? But I uh, forget why I couldn't do it today. But I I, 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 uh, I ended up not recording them all today. I think I slept in. Can't remember. I cannot remember. But I uh, I, I ended up not recording them all today. Oh right, I uh, I forgot to record the. Um, the Yamajack tries yesterday. I just com it completely slipped my mind to record it yesterday, and I wasn't about to go and record a Yamajack tries, and then also 14 episodes of KF2 on the same day because that's just that's a ton of work. So I recorded the uh, the Yamajack tries earlier today. It was uh, minute, which was a pretty fun, interesting little thing. Um, that was a fun game. I liked that. And then I decided to just kind of put off the uh, the 14 episodes until another day. But I had a uh, I had a Eureka moment, and uh, it's an obvious thing if you think about it, but I didn't really think about it. I'm really tired right now and I have a headache, so my aim's a little bit off, but hey, it's fine. I had a Eureka moment, wherein I, uh, I realized that I don't have to record it on like a Monday or a Tuesday. I don't have to record all 14 episodes on a Monday or a Tuesday. I can record them on a Wednesday or a Thursday or a Friday or Saturday or a Sunday. Or even uh, any other day that you can think of, but that, there aren't really any other days, so but th that's it. But uh, you know, because um, for so long I had uh, like Mondays are the start of my week, so Mondays are the day that I, I get the recording done, right? Mondays are the day that I record, and Tuesdays are the day that the uh, the week actually ends. So I I end the week a day after I start the week, if that makes sense. Um, and then I have like a little bit of a carryover to have just a, a bit of a backlog in case anything goes wrong. Um, lately I haven't been able to do that because it's been just too warm, too hot to, to reasonably record all 14 of them at once. Um, and uh, I've been recording them just like uh, kind of like two at a time as we go for, uh, for like the following day or whatnot. And uh, you know, that's kind of uh, opened me up to a, a bit of a eureka moment where I, I can record them on any day that I want. I, I can do the 14 episodes tomorrow. I can do them the next day. And if I have extra episodes that bleed over into the next week, then so be it. We have I have a big backlog. That's that's a good thing. It's it's a it's a positive, right? I end up with uh, with a lot of videos, and I have if uh, on days like this or on days where particularly that last time when I didn't really feel like recording, um, and it was like really bad. Right, I really, really specifically wanted to not record. Um, you know, I, I'm able to just not record. And then on days where I feel like recording, I'm able to just kind of whip out a few videos, add it to the backlog, and call it a day. And I might even be able to kind of move my script, my script around and the way I organize things uh, on the back end to make it a little bit simpler for me. But, uh, yeah, largely, um, it's kind of been a, a perspective shift for me where I don't have to, to worry so much about uh, the specific day that I'm recording on and I just record on whatever day it is that I feel like recording and I just I get it done. I, I knock out a few videos, add it to the backlog, keep that backlog nice and uh, nice and large. Right now I do not feel like recording so we're not going to be doing much today uh, but tomorrow, Wednesday, you know, maybe, maybe uh, depending on the weather you know, any days where I feel like recording some videos I'll just record a bunch of videos and if I have Extras. I have extras. I have a. I get. I get to take a break from recording for a few days, right? So uh, I am going to be doing the 14 episodes. I don't know when it's going to be. You know, I'm going to wake up on a day. It's going to happen to be early morning, and uh, I'm going. I'm going to wake up one day. It's going to be more early morning, and I'm just going to be like, yeah, today I can do 14 episodes, and I'll go and I'll do it, and I will. Uh, I'll hammer it out and uh, see how much time it takes me. Uh, in the meantime, though, we are going to be getting the uh, Pokemon stuff coming soon, probably. Um, not sure exactly when, but I do want to do the uh, the Pokemon like maps all uh, in order kind of thing, as I promised and uh, have not been able to follow through on yet. So that sounds fun. 
Uh, and we will get uh, continue with the Amjack tries and then continue with uh, the Synthetic Legion Rising whenever that starts. But it's been that's been a perspective shift, and it's kind of taken a lot of stress off me, off of uh, off of me as well because it was it was it was not super stressful to be like trying to get the 14 episodes recorded because it's a nece it's a necessary step, right? I, I have to do it. I have to know how much time this takes. I can't accurately estimate how long it takes me to record 14 episodes unless I go and do it and actually log down the time because I'm gonna guess it's four or five hours. And that's probably going to be accurate, but I need to know, is it four or is it five hours? Right? And obviously there's going to be differences in time. Goodness gracious. Obviously there's going to be differences in time throughout the uh, the weeks as I record videos with more. It's, I want to I know. And as I move over to a more scheduled, kind of uh, structured production, um, it's going to matter less because I'll, I'll just have, you know, four hours to record one day and I'll be like, well, my KF2 backlog's getting a little small. I'll go and knock those out or like ah well the synthetic legion rising backlog is uh needs a little bit of a catch up so i, I go and record that one day or maybe some days i'm like wow we're kind of like behind on all the videos so i'll just record uh, a couple videos for each series and then the next day kind of pick up whichever one needs the the videos the most or whatever and kind of uh kind of work on it that way whichever game i feel like playing at the time i, I basically just get to go play and record um, and that'll be as I as I move towards a, a more structured uh, schedule, which will let me have a less structured, um, like, like by stru by properly scheduling myself and structuring it such that I have you know specific times and and adding all this this structure and and consistency into the uh, into the equation, I'm able to remove some structure and rigidity from. Uh, like what I would normally be doing where I have to record these episodes on these days, these episodes on these days. I just, I have four hours to record and I record whatever needs to be recorded or whatever I feel like if I have a, if I have enough of a backlog. And I feel like, I feel like that way will be a little bit easier to do once I'm, uh, into the mix of it. But honestly, like committing to that is scary. Um, I've, I've talked about it before, but I don't want to commit to something that I can't continue to handle. If, if the YouTube thing doesn't go well and then I have to like find another job because once I go into like eight hours a day five days a week that's not viable if I'm not getting paid I can't I cannot do that if I if I'm not making a living on it right like I'll still have to get a job and then that's taking up my time and I'll have to, to cut back the content significantly and that'll just feel terrible but at this point in time it, it almost feels like it's it's honestly reasonable for me to start investing a lot of time into this to make it happen because we're getting almost 10 views per video where like five or six is is like normal for me now on a, on a video like this video will probably get five or six views and that's huge for me that is a, a substantial improvement a market improvement over when I started and like I'd put up videos and get zero views often right like big 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 difference in the uh, in the reception of uh, of these videos which is fantastic I'm glad you guys are enjoying them but it does mean that it, it might be possible to, to turn this into into a living and investing that time into it might be okay because yeah like the last thing I want is to, to in, invest all this time and make this my new like normal right where I have all of these series is, 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 is running and I'm having like a blast with it and everybody's enjoying it and we're all having a good time and then you know COVID's over and I have to make a decision you know okay it's it's time for me to start planning on like moving out getting my own place um, being on my own being independent get you know and uh, you know what's what's the best way to, to move forward towards that uh, towards that goal and uh, you know I'd, I'd hate for my answer to be that I have to cut back on YouTube and move like stop doing this thing that I enjoy so much and uh, stop putting out so much content that people are enjoying and it's just a lose-lose situation at that point so that 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 really scares me honestly um, is, is getting to the point where I have to cut down content just because I'm putting out so much of it that it's not viable and then I'm not making a, a proper living from it. That's that's terrifying. It, it actually is extremely, extremely terrifying. 
but uh, I don't think it'll happen. Um, I think it's I think we're going pretty well. Like I got 10 new subscribers in the last month. Um, if I can continue to do some proper marketing and add more, um, get more viewers and subscribers, uh, I we're almost we're like five percent of the way there to uh, to me making a, a living on YouTube. We are like five percent of the way there, and that's you know it's close. Like if I was, I'd say forty mm, percent of the way, fifty percent of the way to. YouTube being a, a proper living for me. Um, by the time you know I have to make a decision, I think I'd say okay, I'll just I'll put up with living at home for for a while longer. Maybe depending on the situation at the time. Anyway, if it's if it's possible, right? The other thing is that it might not even be possible. Like when COVID's over, I might just have to leave because I don't particularly like it here. Um, so yeah, there there there's definitely a that possibility as well but if it's possible for me to live here I think that if I had like 50% of the way to, to making it a proper living I'd, I'd be comfortable with maybe investing like continue to continuing to invest my time into it because it's you know at that point maybe another five six months and I'll have a living and then another five or six months after that and I can I can go and move out be independent right so it's but uh, right now we're only like 5% of the way there. And that's not good enough. So, yeah, I don't know. It's great. Like, it's, it's fantastic. I'm really, really happy with where we're at and the growth that we're seeing. But uh, it's not at, like, the point where I can say, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be able to get it in the next year. Like, it's, it's, it's a maybe. It's a big maybe. And I would love for it to happen because that would be sweet. But, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of the thing that's holding me back from, like, properly scheduling my time and getting into all this extra stuff that I want to be doing, because if I start, like, right now, I can afford to handle this, even even if I have, like, a full-time job. Even if I go and get a full-time job somewhere, I can afford this much time investment into YouTube. Once I start putting more time into it, if I have to get a full-time job, I have to start cutting back on the, the YouTube. This is too loud. I have to start cutting back on the YouTube. And that's just, that's that's not something that I ever want to have to do. So it's uh, it's kind of a, a mental block, but I know that, you know, the other thing is, if I don't put in the time early, then that's going to contribute to uh, me not being able to, to to do it as a living, right? So it's kind of a I don't know, whatever the word is for it. I got I got to put in the time for it and get it done, or else it's not going to work out. But it's it's scary because if it doesn't work out, then that's bad. But like the thing is, it's streaming. Right? I can I can get I I'm I'm pretty confident if I started streaming, I'd be able to get enough of a following to start getting subscribers, and then. It's not many subscribers before <laughs> before I'm like content with uh why are you facing the other way? Before I'm content with uh, with my life, right? Like I need like 300, 400 bucks a month, um, which is like 100, 150 subscribers, but like a year to get to that point doesn't seem that bad if I'm streaming regularly five days a week. I feel like I could maybe do it. I don't know. It's a, it's a scary thought anyway, because who knows how the future goes, but we'll, uh, we'll see. I do want to invest the time in it because it's necessary, but it's terrifying. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.